let me congratulate you both on this second season of Loot. I mean, Maya, I gotta start off with you. As you know, being in the industry, when you get a second season, that is like the most exciting news that you could possibly receive. So yes. when you got that green light, like what went through your head? Oh, we were so excited. And we were so excited to then delve into developing these relationships even more because we love all of these characters. So now getting a chance to see them interact in different combinations has been the fun part. Definitely, because of course on season one, we're introduced to the characters. We're getting to know them a little bit, but season two, we really get to dive in. So Joel, give us a little tease as to what kind of shenanigans we see with these characters. Season two, like like you said, like season one was a lot of setup and season two is just like lift off baby. Like mm -hmm. it is like so joke forward and sillier, I think, um, than that we were able to be in the first season. I know for me personally, I can't be funny in a bubble. I think of comedy as a group sport and I'm only as funny as the people I'm with. So I really try to elevate the people I'm with. And yes, it makes me laugh, but it also makes me feel funnier when I'm laughing. And it just, it all, it all makes for a very funny soup. <laughs> A tasty one too. Listen, we, we love that soup, it's good. Well, and Joel, I gotta tell you, my friend, I love seeing how booked and busy you are. You have this show, you have a million other things. I love seeing you on Drag Race recently. You absolutely slayed your thank guest appearance you, on that. You, thank you. I am curious if there's any queen you're holding out for to take the crown. Um, well, it's so hard now because I feel like they're all my children after Aww. getting to judge them. Like, I love all of those girls. I um, it's, it's really hard to pick. A favorite, but I guess I'll, if I were backed into a corner, Ooh. I would say uh, double crowning Nymphia Safira for sure. Whoa. Right Definitely. Well, you know what's funny? Speaking of Drag Race, I know on the first season, Joel, you showed Maya Let Loose, which is so iconic. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned about Let Loose. Mm -hmm. You learned to let loose thanks to Joel Kim Booster. Joel, if you could show Maya another iconic drag race thing, what do you think you would show her? Um, I It would have to be like one of the lip syncs. And I think Maya would, while she would uh, in, uh, appreciate a split and a dip, I think I would show her Dita Ritz versus the princess this will be. Um, Ooh, that is- I have not seen. That is like high drag to me. And I think Let's she go. would appreciate the artistry. She loves a lip sync. Love. She loves a lip sync. Couldn't love it more. And I think she would really appreciate Dita's artistry in that performance. Let us, let us uh, view it together.